In the wake of this violence, the city of Buffalo is rolling out a series of new police reforms. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Eileen Buckley explains how these reforms aim to improve community relations. Black people have waited long enough for change and delaying action is only delaying racial justice. Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown announcing phase one of police reform less than two weeks after rolling out an agenda for police reform. Brown says this Wednesday police will begin a new process when making a traffic stop. A stop receipt is a written statement by the police officer that explains what the officer observed and prompted them to make a stop. An appearance ticket will be issued for low-level offenses without handcuffing and arresting a suspect unless state law mandates they be put in physical custody. The appearance tickets are arrests with no handcuffs. The mayor says this reform will advance racial equity that members of the community are demanding from police. The mayor has, has certainly shown his, his interest in taking some steps and we do support that. Erin Carmen is co-chair of the Buffalo Police Advisory Board. She says they're pleased with this first reform, but are looking for additional steps, including new oversight of the police department, expansion of the current advisory board, and changes to use of force. We think there are very some specific policy components within the current BPD policy that still need reform. The leader of the Buffalo Police Union was not available for comment. Other community members are calling for a database that would reveal police brutality by specific officers. I asked the mayor if that would be part of any future reforms. Everything is on the table. We are listening to, to everything. But everything proposed isn't necessarily good uh, for the safety of this community. Also starting Wednesday, if you're pulled over by Buffalo Police for a vehicle equipment violation, you'll have seven days to make repairs to fix it instead of the 24 hours to avoid penalties. In downtown Buffalo, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.